Hey folks, John with Complete Technology Solutions, your friend in less than lethal self-defense. All right guys, so today we're, we're going to put a head-to-head -head on our two favorite LTLs, the Alpha and the Bravo, but it's not the ones you're expecting. Here we go. All right, folks, before we get started, um, I know I have been promising you the video for the salt supply, the Tipman, and the Sabre. Um, remember I told you that I had an issue with my salt supply, and I want to tell you something. Okay, customer service is everything, and you guys know that. It, and this is not just in the world of less than lethal, but in life in general. A company that truly cares about their customers, it's a rare thing to find. It really is. Well, our friends over at Salt Supply, you guys know... Salt Supply, no matter what launcher we have on this show, this will always have a warm spot in my heart, guys. This is where it all started. The first less than lethal video that I ever did on this channel was on the Salt Supply. And I'll throw a link up here for you guys to take a look at it. I loved it. I always and I always have. Now, in the process of shooting these videos about a year ago, I did a video on the Salt Supply and I left a CO2 cartridge in there compressed and it was sitting in a storage room that over the summer had gotten well over 120 degrees for multiple days at a time, weeks at a time in fact. And what it did is it actually damaged an internal seal because I had not removed the cartridge and I hadn't treated it. Well, I contacted Salt Supply and I asked them if it was possible just to get a seal and I was gonna replace it myself and probably make a video out of it. Guys, they didn't know who I was. They didn't know that I did video on Less Than Lethals. All they said is, you've got one of the first versions? Send it to us and we'll fix it for you and send it back. And that's exactly what they did. They took the launcher, they sent me a return label prepaid, and they repaired the launcher and sent it back to me. Guys, this is service. So no matter what happens and who wins that head-to-head, -head, that's great, you have to admit, right? Well... I thought I would just kind of get, let you guys know about that because I found it pretty darn cool. But today, we are going to put the head-to-head -head on. We're going to do the LTL Alpha versus the LTL Bravo. But it's not this LTL Alpha. Remember this one? And it's not the black Bravo that you've seen on this channel. These are their new colored versions. Now, one of these, I get. Let's take a look here. I'm going to show Stumpy this. So this is the LTL Bravo. We'll start with that one. And this is the LTL Bravo in a really cool color. Check this out. It is kind of a grayish blue. Now, guys, I really kind of dig this color. Let me take this out of the bag here and show it to you. Check that out. It's kind of a metallic grayish kind of it's got a tint to it, but it's, uh, once again, it's, it's nice looking. It really does. That slide actually looks like it should function. Of course, they don't on a Bravo. You know that. But taking a look around the weapon, as you can see, I haven't even taken it out of the box. You still got everything original on here. It's got the same loading mechanism at HDP 50, so you slide that forward, load your rounds in from the bottom. You've got a trigger safety here. Now, on this side, guys, this is actually where you will remove and put in the CO2. Now, I am not going to go through the entire process of showing you this because if you want to see the Bravo, there's your link. You can take a look at that video, and it shows you everything about it. Um, now, <laughs> this is the one that really blew up. That's a cool color, right? Seriously, I mean, I like the black, but I really do like them. By the way, guys, it's as heavy as ever. These things are like hammers, I'll tell you. Well, to give you an idea, and we'll just weigh these things. I'm not even sure my scale will go this high. But this thing weighs, put this thing into ounces, and we might actually get lucky here. That weighs, and it overloaded, yeah. Um, I'm willing to bet that's probably a pound and a half, two pounds. It's heavy. So, in fact, before the end of this video, we'll know because I'll put it on a male scale. We'll know how heavy that is. So, all right. Let's get over here to our LTL Alpha. Now, guys... I need your help. I need your help. And here's why. I don't know what color this is. I, and I mean that literally. Here we go, guys. I want you to help me identify what color this is. And no smart aleck comments. Here we go. Um, now, I know what I'm thinking. Uh, okay, look. Let's take it out of the bag. I want to take it out of the bag and show this to you. All right. Take a look at that. 
Now, I know the first thing everybody, when you're probably looking at that, you're thinking, it looks like a toy. I mean, right? Um, the other thing I was thinking is, well, we are in October, right? Pumpkin Spice LTL Alpha 1.5. Pumpkin, uh, new market. Hashtag Pumpkin Spice. Hey, guys, look. However it looks doesn't matter. How it performs is what actually does count. But this is their new orange version of the LTL Alpha. Now, the other day I had made a point on a video to point out that there are some municipalities that actually are, require people, if you're going to have a less than lethal, that it must be colored differently. And I caught a bunch of flack for that. So once again, there are municipalities and countries and states that require that your less than lethal be some other color other than black. So I understand the reason that these exist. But as you can see, putting them side by side, I, I could tell you which one I would go with, but at the end of the day, there may be states where you don't have that option. And I'm willing to bet that we could probably do the dye job on this just like we do over on the, uh, 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 the Compaq and the HTP 50. So we may actually try that sometime. But all right, I am going to load these up. We are going to test these for velocity head-to-head -head using the exact same balls. And I'll tell you what we're going to use today. I have got some of the rubber steel... 50 caliber balls. Now these are weighing in. Now these are the ones we're actually going to test on all of these, all right? Okay, these are weighing in at 2.78 grams, all right? So 2.78 grams on the rubber ball with a steel core. So we're going to go out here on the range, put them down range, and let's see what kind of velocities we get out of the uh, uh, the cool steel and the pumpkin spice here we go all right guys so as you can see we've got our range set up here again got our uh, fps meter up here and we've added another pumpkin down there in honor of halloween and a miss pac-man now that is a 3d printed miss pac-man ends up being a failed print so why not uh you know use it for a little practice we'll see how that pans out all right guys so we're going to start off with our ltl bravo in our cool gray color all right i've got Six rounds loaded in. All right, so let's charge her up. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right, guys. So well, Wait a minute. Hold on. Hey, YouTube. Say it with me, guys. Safety first. Here we go. All right, so getting back behind the camera here. And we're going to try to get... I'm going to move you up a little bit so we can try to get a good shot right off the bat with this. Hang on one second here. 454. Four fifty four, four thirty four, four twenty seven, and I may be out because I think I loaded light. Nope, four twenty nine. All right, guys. So we're in that four hundred range. And oh, hold on, safety first. All right. So we know we're going to be in that four hundred range. Out of the box, these are advertised at eighteen joules. That actually corresponds really darn well. And you can see it hits like a freight train. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and take our pumpkin spot. <laughs> I'm sorry, our orange one. And let's go ahead and charge it up. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to move back behind here and let's take another shot. I'm going to leave this 429 so we have a nice round figure to shoot against here. All right. So once again, we got our six rounds loaded in here. And uh, safety first. All right, here we go, guys. So let's see what we get out of our pumpkin, I mean, uh, our orange LTL Alpha. Here we go. I'm going to aim for the pumpkin this time and see what we get. For, uh, that was an error. You know what? Let me move you over here a little bit. Maybe we'll see if we get one with Pac-Man. Hold on one second. Error. Golly. 448. 448. Error, but we blew Pac-Man apart. Let me go for her head here. 436. 436. Error. And out. Okay, let's see what we got here, guys. Oh, my gosh. We've got destruction everywhere. Oh, poor Pac-Mina. <laughs> yeah, Miss Pac-Man was actually uh, printed as one piece and she's not one piece anymore. Hey, you know what? We kind of expected that. As far as our pumpkin, oh, nice, guys. Look at that. 
slid right in the side of that thing and d- deep into it. So, guys, as we, we know these are going to hit hard. We know that. They're both firing in about the exact same range, so it really boils down to preference and weight. Let's go back in the office here. So, guys, one other thing I want to check while we've had it. They both fired the same amount of rounds, right? Neither one of them is empty right now. They're out of ammo, but they have CO2 left in them. I'd like to see if we're getting the same amount of shots out of them. So, YouTube, nobody's in the room. No ammo is loaded. We're releasing CO2. Here we go. So if you counted all those shots, it was about 16. This one still has a tiny bit, but obviously after your first, I'd say after your first five or six rounds, that's going to be your maximum velocity. You might be able to get 10 out, but honestly, five rounds, aim your shots, make your shots, and practice with your launcher. That's the key. Um, Remember I told you you're going to weigh these. This one weighs in at 2.68 pounds. This one weighs in at 1.78 pounds. So it is a full pound heavier on the Bravo. That is one thing that I kind of, I do like is that extra weight. But honestly, I don't mind a lighter weapon as long as you're firing with those same higher velocities. Um, It is an amazingly well-constructed weapon, though. If you take a look at that, you can see it is just amazingly well-constructed. Very, 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 very heavy duty. Um, One thing about these that I have always wondered, and I've talked to LTL about this, The loading and unloading of those CO2 cartridges. Guys, honestly, I wish they would redesign this a tiny bit. I love the way it looks, and it does fit well. It actually fits quite snugly inside the bottom of the grip here. But when you put in your cartridge, you have got to make sure that you've got that in perfectly. So you screw this in all the way down. As By the way, when you get to a certain point, you have to pull it out to screw it in. You screw it until it stops, all right, just like that. Then you twist this back around to where it's in, and you push this up into the launcher. You see how that is? Now, if that is in there snugly and securely, you'll get a good strike every single time. If by some chance you don't push that up in there enough, it can actually ride and flip and turn on you. So make sure, no matter whether you're using the Bravo or the Alpha, that you've got that in there securely if you're going to use it on a strike and fire method. Um, Also, and I cannot emphasize this enough, practice, practice, practice practice and that goes with any launcher that you use um needless to say you cannot you can't just expect the weapon to to defend you if you have no idea how to use it when you have to pull it out in an emergency situation so a whole lot of practice is what you're looking at so guys i know that you want the salt supply video it is ready to go i have to finish some salt supply footage on it and once again major 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 shout out to salt supply guys that was that was some of the best customer service i've ever seen it was really really cool um these will have links in the description for you if you want the pumpkin sp- i'm sorry the uh, orange safety orange version you can get that at the links and i've also got this cool blue steel one that is the weight on that is ridiculously cool it literally feels like you're picking up a heavy heavy automatic it really is great so guys thank you so much for watching heads up i will be gone next week until friday that's when with just a little bit of luck we'll go ahead and drop that uh salt supply tipman and all that Uh, i want a special shout out to the patrons i've got out there guys you have no idea how much that means to me i am doing a patrons only video stream and we're going to do some lives here like actual repairs and upgrades and just bs sessions um for all of my patrons so if you guys want to jump over there and take a look at it throw a couple bucks you're welcome to if not that's totally cool just being here is enough for me guys have a fantastic week and be safe out there take care of each other guys bye-bye